looking at the sun again this morning. Today's date is... Okay. Praise the Most High, Yahuwah, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Creator of all things. And that planet, people are calling it Nariru, but I have evidence right here to prove you in Enoch 14 that that is not Nariru, but that is actually Yahuwah's throne. And I'm going to prove it to you right now. So if you go to Enoch 14, Enoch was taken up into the heavens. He was taken to hell by the holy angels. And he described what they looked like and what he saw. So now I'm going to read you the part where he's describing heaven. And he's describing Yahuwah's throne. Okay, so we're going to go to Enoch 14 and 14. And behold, there was another habitation more spacious than the former. Every entrance to which was open before me, erected in the midst of the vibrating flame. So greatly did it excel in all points in glory and magnificence in multitude, that it is impossible to describe to you either the splendor or the extent of it. Its floor was on fire above more lightnings and agitated stars, while its roof exhibited a blazing fire. Extensively, I, Enoch, surveyed it and saw that it contained an exalted throne. So inside of that uh, planet that you guys call Nerebu, which is Yahuwah's throne, Yahuwah is inside of that, and his throne is sitting inside of it. The appearance of which was like that of the frost, while its circumference resembled the orb of the brilliant sun. Okay? Now that is where you need to recognize that that's what the so-called planet Nerebu that you guys call looks like. The circumference and resembles the orb of the brilliant sun. That's why people are saying it's the second sun and stuff like that. So just know that on the eighth, Yahuwah is blocking out the sun with his throne and he's seizing the earth. And that's why they're shooting rockets at Yahuwah's throne. The holy war is about to begin. NASA in Hebrew means deceive. Okay? And they're shooting us the so-called serpent missile. Obviously, the serpent is trying to fight against Yah. And that's what the holy war is. The good, the righteous with Yah, the wicked with the serpent. And the, all the wicked are going to perish because Yahuwah and his angels are coming back. As it says in Enoch 99, let me read that to you. In those days, in the last days, the angels shall descend into places of concealment and gather together in one spot all who have assisted in crime. In that day shall Yahuwah the Most High rise up to execute the great judgment upon all sinners and to commit the guardianship of the righteous and the holy to the holy angels that they may protect them as the apple of an eye until every evil and every crime be annihilated. Now we're going to go to Enoch 1 and we're going to see what Yahuwah is going to do when he does come. So from them, which is the holy angels, I, Enoch, heard all things and understood what I saw, that which would not take place in this generation that he was in, but in a generation which is to succeed at a distant period on the account of the elect, which is today. The elect are the righteous that praise Yahuwah by his name. All shall be afraid and the watchers shall be terrified. Great fear and trembling shall seize them, even to the ends of the earth. The lofty mountains shall be troubled, and the exalted hills depressed, melting like honeycombs in the flame of the earth, shall be emerged. Hell shall be emerged, and all things which are in it perish, while judgment shall come upon all, even upon all the righteous. Behold, he, Yahuwah, comes with ten thousands of his saints, his angels and saints, to execute judgment upon them, and destroy the wicked, and reprove all the carnal for everything which the sinful and ungodly have done and committed against him, Yahuwah. And that was Enoch 2. And now we're going to go to Malachi 4. For behold, the day cometh, right? This day was prophesied by Malachi and Isaiah and Jeremiah and many other prophets. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. And all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. In that day that cometh shall burn them up, says Yahuwah, the Lord of spirits, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my Yahuwah's name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I, Yahuwah, shall do this, says Yahuwah, the Lord of spirits. Remember ye... Israelites and righteous, the laws of Moses, my Yahuwah's servant, which I, Yahuwah, commanded him, Moses, in Herod for all the children of Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I, Yah, will send you Eliah the prophet before the coming of the great judgment and dreadful day of Yahuwah the Lord. And he, Eliah, shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I, Yah, come and smite the earth with a curse. 